Hi there. So um, I wanted to have a chat with you uh, today about real love. So um, I shared a post a little while ago talking about um, uh, the differences of love or how love's important as opposed to just being relationship or friendship and um, and how they're, they're all different things. And if you haven't seen that post, then have a look. Um, have a look. I think it was last week or so. You can look in my post. It was a, a written post. And one of our beautiful sisters, Lou, um, posed a question about, you know, uh, what is real love? And can we talk a little bit more about that? And she shared how her idea of what real love was changing. And I thought this was a really interesting thing to talk a little bit more about because I know for a lot of us, our idea of love is changing. Not only now, uh, because of what's happened um, with our world and we've all come a little closer to our center, but also for a lot of people, um, as we grow older, our idea of what real love is changes. When we're quite young, we think that real love is the flutterings in our heart and what we understand now that that's actually a chemical reaction for attraction. Um, and then as we grow older, we look for a life partner, someone who would be um, a good life partner. So they need to have particular attributes that are going to be compatible for us and uh, values that are going to help us to you know, live the kind of life that we want to live in harmony. Um, and then as we get even older again, we tend to look more for companionship. Now, these are generally the three stages of relationship or the three t um, stages in life of relationship. Not everybody goes through them all. Some people stay in stage one um, and they're happy with that. Some of us who um, you know, get to that stage of life where we are wanting a lifetime partner, but we end up often in the wrong relationships this can often be because we haven't moved into the second stage of attraction or relationship but that's for another post right now what I wanted to really talk about was what is real love so um, what you know what I spoke about in that previous post is how we in our western modern culture often um, mistake attraction for love and they are two really different things and I'm not going to go so much into the differences right now because that is in the previous post but what I do want to talk about is what real love actually is and when we talk about real love in uh, relationship that's one thing but what I want and we will get to that but what I want to talk about first of all is love itself real love itself as a state because ultimately that's what love is love is a state that means that you can be in love without there being another person just like you can be in anger or you can be in rapture or you can be in ecstasy or you can be in um, fury it's a state now remember states are much more than emotion love however is a state so Real love is something that's quite, that's divine. It goes way beyond the personal and deep into the transpersonal. So love is our original state. It's our pure and innocent state is to be in love. And when you're in a state of love, you experience life uh, in synchronicity and in coherence and in instant manifestation. It's a very beautiful, coherent state. And we could all relate to this, uh, well most of us could anyway, um, when we think to a time in our life that we have felt, what well, we have felt that kind of ecstatical love. Now often this state is accessed through, in the beginning stages of a relationship. So you know when you meet someone and your literally your heart feels more open, uh, colours seem more vibrant, and synchronicities happen like the strangest and most synchronistic things occur and life just seems really good it's like everything's feels positive even the challenges seem easier to deal with this is often because we're in a state of love now what we often do though is mistake that for it being about the other person and it's not so why is it then that we can feel in love with another person um, rather than just on our own. Well, this isn't actually true. We can be in love on our own. 
and in many cultures this is a much more normal thing to do. In our culture, however, we do equate it to being with another person. So I wanted to bring to your attention that way of accessing the state of love because it's one that most of us will be able to relate to. And so the question might arise, well then, why can't why isn't it okay to just be in love with that person? Well, because as soon as we project our um, our experience onto that person, as soon as we project our capacity to be in love, to be in the state of love onto another person, then it kind of starts to go away. And you all know that that particular beginning state very rarely lasts. There is one kind of um, one kind of um, difference where you can keep that going which is when you make your relationship a divine union or a spiritual practice the other way in the more generalized way to to be in love is to recognize that it is a state of the divine so real love real love has nothing to do with another person and it has everything to do with connecting to that frequency of love connecting to the frequency of the divine so accessing that state so when you're in love you're also kinder you're more compassionate you're more forgiving you start to be that kind of person that you've always wanted to be now if you're able to cultivate love in yourself then when you meet all people you feel a a sense of love for them and when we're able to cultivate a state of love on our own this is a really valuable hugely valuable thing because then when we meet people we feel love for everybody so we can start to choose partners with whom we have a a compatibility we stop relying on them to be our source of love so I just want to bring it back again to be really uh, clear and specific what is real love real love is a state that can be and should be cultivated on our own Real love is our uh, divine self. Some people might call it God. Some people might call it spirit. Whatever you call it, it is our, our ultimate and uh, real state, our original state. And the best way to have a loving relationship, um, well, an, a, an essential ingredient is to cultivate your capacity to be in the state of love. Absolutely, there are so many other things around that, the things that I teach in my programs and with my clients, like effective communication, um, recognizing compatibility, recognizing shared values, um, being able to hear each other, all of those things are extremely important um, and we need to work on them. But just to remember, those things are part of relating, those aspects are parts of relationship love is something that can be and should be cultivated on your own by connecting to that greater field that greater frequency of love Um, I do have a really sweet and short um, little process that I'm going to be sharing with you all soon and giving it to you for free Um, And I will be sending that out to the people who are registered with me via my website or my email. So if you're not and you want to be, um, then please go to my website and register yourself or email um, me. Um, But I'm going to be giving you this little process that helps you to connect to the frequency of love at the same time as connecting with your partner. This is a really, really awesome thing to do. So anyway, I don't want to go on and on um, because I can, (laughs) but hopefully this helps to clarify for those of you who are questioning around that, what is real love? Uh, Real love is a state, it's our original state, and it's when we are in a state of being connected to the frequency of love, to our own divinity. Sending love to you all.